Dean Quelch, very nice to have you with me today. How are you? Thank you, Connor. So I went back online and I looked at some of your accomplishments. There are a lot. So first of all, you had a long career at Harvard Business School. You served as the Dean of China Europe International Business School in China. You served as the Dean of London Business School. You're the author, co-author, or editor of 25 books. And you created original case studies that have sold over 4 million copies. What brought you here? I've been a dean in Europe, I've been a dean in Asia, but I've not been a dean in the Americas. And this is a very exciting location with tremendous amount of potential as the, uh, the hub of the uh, intersection between not just North America and South America, but also uh, between East and West as well. And we have tremendous opportunities here to uh, build a new university for the 21st century under President uh, Frank's leadership. Economically speaking, what's the biggest opportunity of being here in South Florida? If I was to cite one opportunity economically for the U uh, to quickly generate additional revenue, uh, probably over the next two to three years we'll be placing a lot of emphasis on executive education. Now, there's obviously many business schools in the whole U.S. and the world. How do you think a student experience here at the UM Business School is different from other competitor schools? One of the things <laughs> that's very important about the University of Miami is a uh, smaller private but research-based university um, is the flexibility that it affords to uh, undergraduate students to basically craft their own degree program whereby there's a lot of flexibility given to the students to test their intellectual appetite for different subject areas rather than force fitting them into a restrictive single major uh, early on in their career here as undergraduates. We're offering one year, two year, blended part-time, masters, specialist uh, degree programs, general management MBA programs, executive MBA programs. You have a menu from which you can choose. And that is what students today are looking for. They are not looking for being force-fitted into a standardized program. I just finished interning in New York City for the summer, and I learned so much stuff about the real world that you really can't get in a classroom. So how do you plan to bring that real-world experience to kids here on campus? Many of our students are involved in treks uh, that they take to uh, New York, for example, especially those interested in finance or real estate. And the faculty work very hard with those students to uh, make sure that they are introduced to the right people and have the opportunity to obtain internships, as you did, uh, with leading organizations that may not be uh, um, represented as well in Miami as they are in New York or elsewhere in the country. What can current students, prospective students, alums, and members of the UM community do to help you while you're here as Dean? You know, I think, first of all, any ideas are totally welcome. And, uh, you know, please feel free to uh, email or stop by uh, if you have any thoughts in terms of how we can improve and do better and serve the community uh, more successfully. Talk up the you at every opportunity you have. Um, you, the people who have graduated from here are the best sales organization we can secure. And you know, proudly wear the, uh, the pin as a conversation starter. You know, proudly carry the fact that you went to the U um, in your conversations day to day. You know, good people will then apply. And everything in this business is about people. It's all about the quality of students and the quality of faculty and staff. Everything else is secondary. So good people of what we need our alumni to send to us. Well, we're very excited to have you here, and thank you so much for your time. Well, thanks, Connor. Thank you. Thank you.